This is Eugene Padrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Apple MacBook Pro 13.3 inch A1425 laptop with a cracked screen. I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on this model. A couple of words before we get started. Uh, for most laptops, you just replace the screen inside the screen assembly, but for uh, Apple MacBook models, you replace the entire screen assembly because of the way they're constructed. Uh, the second thing is to identify the right MacBook Pro model. This is A1425. This is the MacBook Pro that was out between late 2012 and 2013. Uh, the main thing to look for is the A1425 model number. The next thing is the toolkit we're going to use for this. We're not going to use our standard toolkit for a laptop replacement. We're going to use the laptop and tablet repair toolkit that we use. And the main reason is because of these bits. Uh, the MacBook Pro uses specialized screws that require specialized bits that this toolkit has. Okay, first thing is to um, make sure that the laptop is completely turned off. If you're not sure, uh, do a long press of the power button for five seconds, and if the screen is dark after that, it should be turned off. Then we shut the laptop and turn it on its back. We'll be doing most of the work on its back. Before we start, we're going to look at the model number. As you can see, it's model A1425. Okay, the first order of business is to remove 10 screws that are securing the bottom lid to the laptop. To do this, we use a pentastar or a pentalobe screwdriver bit, and this is what it looks like. It has five facets and it's 1.2 millimeters. It looks very similar to a Torx bit, but it's not. You have to use the 1.2 millimeter pentastar bit. So we put that in and we removed, removed the two screws. Let's focus. We removed the two screws at the top first. These two screws are a little bit shorter than the rest of the screws, so we want to keep them separate in a separate pile. So using our bit, we remove these two screws and start a separate pile for these one and two. Next, we remove the remaining eight screws, and the remaining eight screws are identical, so we have a separate pile for this. I already removed four of the screws to speed up the video, so we're just going to remove four of the screws. So we're going to remove one, two, three, and four. Once we do that, uh, we pry the lid off. It should come off fairly simple, but if it gets stuck a little bit, just go from the back and gently lift up the lid and remove it. Okay, once we remove the lid, let's take a look at what we have to do. To remove the entire screen assembly from the bottom of the laptop, we have to disengage several connectors. Uh, these include the three Wi-Fi connectors here. We have a webcam connector here. And finally, we have the LCD screen connector here. So let's get started with this part. We use our tweezers to lift up the webcam connectors. They should come up pretty easily. And when you're reconnecting, just put the connector on top and just snap it back in and it should connect easily. Okay, next we want to remove the webcam connector. And what we do with this is grab it by its back and gently pull it back. And then the rest of the cable is under this rubber piece right here, or it was. So we lift up this rubber piece and lift up the cable and then there's a spot where it's wedged between an electronic component and a screw for the fan so we just have to gently 
pull it up and just gently work it out there and also gently work it out of this cover here. Okay, the next step that we want to do is to remove the is to remove the screen connector. It's right here. So there's a bar, a thin wire bar that we need to pull up. And we use our tweezers to pull up this bar, like so. And once we do that, we use our fingertips to lift up the cable a little bit so we can get a good grip. And lift up the bar and gently disengage the connector. So this connector just slides in and out and when you slide it back in, you can use the bar to re-engage it. So let's get a close-up. This is what a properly connected connector should look like. Pause the video right there when you're reconnecting the connector. Okay, once again, we pull the connector back to disengage it. Okay, all the connectors are disengaged. And next step is to remove the screws that are holding the screen assembly to the back of the laptop. So there's some rubber pieces covering where the screws are for the hinge mounts and we lift up these rubber pieces. There's one and there's two. We lift these up and put them to the side. And the next step is we're going to switch bits now. We're going to use a Torx, a T8 Torx bit which is located over here in the toolkit, it says T8 and we're going to use that to remove these three screws over here. So, one by one, remove these three screws and put them in a separate pile again. There's two and three. And we're going to do the same thing here. Three screws here. One. Two. And if the screw gets stuck, we use our tweezers to extract the screw like so. And three over here. Okay, and we remove it. And then the final step before we remove the screen assembly, there's a small metal clip that's secured by a screw that's that's the only thing that's holding the rest of the screen assembly back to the bottom of the laptop. And for that we're going to use a T5 bit, a T5 Torx bit, which is right over here on the toolkit. And so first we put the bit in and then we carefully remove the screw and then using our tweezers we remove this metal clip. like so, and put it to the side. When you're putting it back together, you keep track of which metal clip goes on which side. They're not the same. So the left, we're going to keep this metal clip to the left and the right metal clip to the right. That's one good way to track it. So we're going to do the same thing. And we, once we remove the screw, we can grab the metal clip and put it on the right hand side. Okay, once we do that, the two parts of the laptop should be loose with each other. But what we want to do is open up the laptop so the hinges for easy removal. So we want to, while holding the hinges with our finger, we want to open up the laptop. And what that does is easily we open up some more and once we open it up the two sides separate from each other and so we can put the rest of the laptop down 
And the other thing you have to be careful when the whole procedure is be very careful with the power button, especially when you open up the screen, because once you turn on the power button, the laptop turns on and you don't want to do that. Okay, so this is the screen assembly where the screen is broken. So you replace the whole screen assembly. You buy it as one piece, and you can buy it from us, from Screen Surgeons. Uh, you go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, and then it will guide you to find the right screen assembly online. Okay, this toolkit... It also, we also sell it, it comes separately from the screen assembly, so you have to buy it separately, or if you have all these bits, you can use your own toolkit. It's in the catalog, and it will be listed under toolkits. Okay, so, once you do get your screen assembly in, you have to reassemble it. I'm not going to go through the whole reassembly procedure, but just give you some highlights and things to watch out for. The first thing you got to notice is for the webcam cable, or actually for the Wi-Fi cables, one of them, or all three of them are connected, are bound together with a grounding clip. And the grounding clip goes beneath the hinge assembly when you attach it to the back of the laptop. So make sure the grounding clip is under the is under the clip or the hinge assembly. And once again, when you are reconnecting, make sure you don't press the power button. So once you put the two assemblies back together, once they fit snugly, here's the order which you want to reconnect things. Um, you want to put maybe one or two screws on each of the hinge assemblies, maybe one screw, so it's f flush. And then what you want to do is, what you want to do next is close the laptop, and then once you close the laptop, you want to put the rest of the screws in at the top, the rest of the screws in at the bottom, and put the clips in. And once you put the clips in, you reconnect the connectors in the reverse order, like I showed you, and make sure you thread and route the webcam cable properly under this rubber piece and reconnect it, just slide it back in. And here you reconnect the screen connectors I showed you. And then once you do that, the next thing before putting the lid back on is you want to test the new screen before putting the bottom cover on. That will save you some work if there's something wrong. So when you test the new screen assembly, you want to test to make sure that, of course, that the screen works properly when you turn in. The other things that you want to test for is, of course, if you have Wi-Fi connectivity to make sure these cables are connected properly. And the third thing is you want to test the webcam and the microphone, and that's this connector. If all three of those working together, are working to properly together. You put the rubber pieces back on over the hinge covers or the hinges and then after that you put the metal back cover on when the laptop is closed of course and on the bottom and then you put the two screws in at the top and six screws at the bottom. And that should be it. And that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.